for creature of the wind, we wanted to have a cool look. So we doing a side parting, we start to braid from here, and it's a one-shot braid. We're coming all the way in the front here to create a bang. We turn and we finish in the back of the head. So it's not a chignon, it's just very cool. And then we create some whisper hair at the end with a dentelle hairspray from Kerastase. And that's it. What Shane and Chris were talking about, starting point for the collection was this idea of transcendence, sort of moving from the earthly into the light. So we wanted the makeup to be very pure, very illuminated. And then for the eyes, we're using a blue just on the inner rim. It's more of an effect than a color. I wanted the girls to look like their eyes were lit from within. The ideas of transcendence, we're looking a lot at Eastern monastic clothing. Well, um, very, very traditional kind of Eastern clothing and very simple kind of cuts and shapes. But you know, we always like to mix that in with some other elements. So the tailoring that we've been exploring for a few seasons is kind of blended with this idea of these basic pattern shapes. The idea is that we always maintain the same level of intensity, but that somehow it can become a little bit softer at the same time. I think aggression loses its appeal after a while. Having this company for a couple of years now, you definitely have a different perspective on fashion. I thought Creatures of the Wind was really interesting. I thought that they used a lot of different proportions and shapes and silhouettes, and, and that really made things look fresh. They're sort of known for being a little bit avant-garde and high-minded, and this time the collection felt down to earth enough to really wear and pick apart and incorporate into your wardrobe. I liked the longer tunic over a long skirt and the short jacket over a longer tunic over, you know, it was all about mixing up these different layers and different colors. Some of the finishings and the textures were really beautiful and there were some embroideries. There was one jacket with these great butterfly embroideries on it and then also some of the brocades that I thought really made the pieces look special. I loved it. It's one of my favorite shows of theirs in a long time. I'm a big fan of Creatures of the Wind. The long skirts and the Tabitha Simmons shoes just had that ease and that luxury, but in a way that's super wearable, but at the same time, super expensive looking. It was elegant in a relaxed way. and You wanted to put it on and you could just tell how great those knits felt and how glamorous you would feel sauntering down the street. It felt modern, but it wasn't bright in your face colors, but there were some flashes, like there was that green lace skirt that looked almost like snake skin. We always work with a lot of color, but this season it's still very colorful, but it's muted down in a way. It's building up that idea of silence and stillness. There are a lot of like tonal variations of really pale colors, and you'll see at the end of the show that it goes into almost white, but not quite white. There's still all these variations in tone. I didn't realize it until I was actually looking at the board, but we have this sunrise thing happening where it goes from black to like pink and then to white. Like optimistic silence.